Hello, my name is Sarah, and I was invited to join this project by my professor, Dr. Adrian Pine. Um, she's a professor of my anthropology class about public health. Um, COVID-19 has obviously impacted my life in a lot of ways, um, as most people have been impacted. Um, I have definitely felt the isolation um, that has been caused by COVID. I live alone in my apartment, so it's definitely been tough because I haven't been able to see any of my friends or family. Um, that prompted me to get a kitten <laughs> a couple months ago because I was lonely, but that's obviously been a great experience. Um, but yes, I've definitely felt very isolated. I've also had a lot of anxiety um, through this whole pandemic experience. I already dealt with anxiety as a regular mental health situation, but it's it's been a lot more difficult in recent months as I have a mother who has an autoimmune disease and so is therefore at higher risk. And I'm very concerned about her. And I have a brother who lives out of state and I want to make sure that he's being safe. He lives in New York, which has been a big hot spot. So there's been a lot of anxiety. And of course, online school has been very difficult. Um, yeah, so mental health wise, COVID has definitely had a big impact. So in this big crisis, um, a couple of people who have really helped me keep going is, um, are my mother. Um, she and I FaceTime every day. Um, she's always been um, one of my favorite people. And she always helps me remember that things are better than I might think they are in my head and that she's okay, which helps my anxiety that I mentioned before. Um, also my professors, a lot of them have been really great, especially Dr. Pine who recommended me to do this project. Um, a lot of them have been really lenient and they understand that this is such a difficult time to do school as well. Um, so those people have been really helpful. Um, something I really hope that we will learn from this crisis is that the healthcare system in this country is fundamentally not the way it needs to be. Um, we've clearly had so many problems with people not being able to access care um, and the healthcare workers not being able to get what they need. So I hope that this crisis will teach us that we need to make some big changes. Um, also, I hope that we will learn that maybe we should start moving away from this deeply rooted belief in this country that everything is about you as an individual. Um, because a lot of people, you know, these groups of people who refuse to wear masks um, is it because they they have this deep belief that they don't need to care about other people. Um, and I think that that stems from this individualism that has kind of run rampant years. So that will start changing as well.